We're joined from Tokyo by Sayuri Shirai. She is, she is Keio University professor and a former Bank of Japan policy board member. Ms. Shirai, let's get your initial reaction to this 1.6% versus the expected consensus survey of 1% here. Hello? Yes, uh, can we get your initial reaction here in terms of the uh, uh, reading that we're getting, 1.6% uh, yes, yes. for the fourth mm -hmm. quarter? Yes, yes. That was uh, much higher than I thought. Um, I, I think it's maybe because of the uh, very high um, public uh, private sector investment and also public investment. I have to check the detail, but probably it's something to do with the business and the public investment increase. Right now, so it's it, good. It was better than I thought. Definitely, definitely. Uh, it, looking also just relatively on a seasonal basis, it's actually still down uh, from the 1.8 percent from mm -hmm. December of 2016. Any thoughts there, or are you fairly optimistic uh, in terms of this number? Um, are you talking about 2018? Oh, sorry, I couldn't hear. Uh, yes, from the uh, end of 2016, year Hello? on year, 1.8 percent uh, for the fourth quarter ah. of 2016, uh -huh. now to 1.6 uh, percent. It's just uh -huh. a little bit uh, lower, but are you still optimistic about this? Yeah, I think so. Um, I, um, I, I, I pay more attention to the quarter to quarter growth rather than um, year on year. So I think it's good. Economy continues to um, um, grow moderately. So you, already, you, know, you mentioned about those CapEx numbers, which were showing yes. quite a bullish when it came to Japanese companies and their willingness to spend more. We also are seeing here the GDP deflator for the fourth quarter coming in at 0.1 percent. Is this enough to squeeze some inflation back mm -hmm. into Japan and continue this path that we have seen, which is still in the right I direction, see. but still far from that 2 percent goal? Mm. Yeah, well, GDP deflator is very weak. You know, um, um, just by, by looking at the GDP deflator, I don't see a very strong inflationary pressures. Also, when you look at the CPI, uh, once you exclude all food and energies, uh, inflation is just growing at only 0.1 percent. So I don't see a very strong upward pressure coming from uh, domestic demand. So it's very difficult for BOJ to achieve 2 percent anytime soon. But, but if Japanese companies are spending more, can we say that there is at least some evidence that this deflationary uh, mindset could be fading away a bit now? Well, not necessarily, because cap, uh, cap, CapEx investment, you know, it's not going to continue forever, right? So once they accumulate mm. the uh, business investment, they will stop doing that. And actually, if you look at the data uh, for 2018, uh, there is an, uh, some weakness with regards to the production of capital goods. So, and, um, and also some uh, weakness in Japan's exports to the United States. So I think we have to check very carefully uh, what will happen in, 2000, what, uh, in 2018 uh, data, uh, whether the current weakness will continue. Right. Of course, we heard from the, the, the testimonies coming through from Kuroda-san uh, just uh, this week, and, and he mentioned this date, April 2019, is the date, the time that the BOJ could start thinking about exiting its stimulus. And, and markets took that as a sign of a possibly hawkish BOJ. The Kuroda quickly had to come back and, and backtrack that. Mm -hmm. But what do you think he meant mm -hmm. by that exactly, that we actually got an acknowledgment of a date? Yes. Mm -hmm. I was puzzled by his remark because uh, he showed some confidence about achieving 2% in 2019, but almost no forecasters believe that. And just as I said, there is no strong um, inflationary pressure coming from domestic demand. And, then, and yet he's right. so confident in achieving 2%. Uh, many of these people think eventually he has to again postpone the timing of 2% from 2019. And then why he's so confident? That is very puzzling. But at the same time, I, I kind of feel that maybe BOJ is really thinking uh, about the timing uh, to uh, normalize the monetary policy. What I mean is raising 10-year target or starting to reduce ETF purchases. Probably they are thinking sure. about uh, some possibility of doing that. 
So I think, you know, maybe by showing some confidence about inflation, even though there is so far away for BOJ to achieve the 2 percent, maybe uh, they may be able to give uh, some uh, signal to the market, then they might start to yeah. unwind their policy, just like ECB and Fed. So, you know, this is so my feeling. So Yuri yeah, uh, certainly as a lot of guesses here, mm -hmm. but we'll, we'll maybe we'll get some clarity in the BOJ meeting on Friday. So Yuri, thank you. Sadiu Shirai, Keio University professor and former BOJ board member joining us there from Tokyo.